Rim Country Forum today being brought to you by Banner Payson Medical Center, George Henry Plumbing, Heating and Cooling, At Your Service Cleaning and Tree Service, Anytime Fitness, ITD Group Computer Services, and Hospitality Wireless. Well, good Friday morning. It's five minutes past the hour of 9 o'clock, 82 degrees, looking for that high of 96. And as we always do on Fridays, it's time for your hometown movie guys, telling us more than anyone ever knew before, or will probably ever know again, about movies and what's happening at the Sawmill Theaters right here in Payson. And with us in the studio, Tina, Craig, and Andy, all three with us this morning. Good morning, folks. How's everybody doing? Peachy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, they've been, they've been practicing apparently. <laughs> all right, so well, it's good to have you all here today. Now we're going to uh, cover a number of different things as far as... Hello, we're... movie uh, radio land. Yeah, good job. Oh, so <laughs> all right. Anyway, uh, we've got a lot of different things to tell you about this morning as far as what's going on at the Sawmill Theaters. Um, and we also have a, an interesting movie, uh, not really trivia question necessarily, but be thinking about famous buddy movies. Yeah, so they can be buddies that, you know, lifelong buddies, or they can be expedient buddies, or buddies for a moment until I kill you. Wow, yeah. okay. I'm not sure I like her brand of buddies, but <laughs> it's all good. And I'm, I'm not cranky this morning. Oh, you're not No, no, I mean, this is, this is a joyful... Joyful crankiness. Snark. Okay, yes. <laughs> I like it. Hey, well, one of the things that we got to let you know about first is something that's going on today at the Sawmill Theaters. There's a big car show. Uh, going on out in the parking lot there, and they're going to have uh, a movie at 10 o'clock this morning, and the movie, American Graffiti. Talk about a little step back in time. That's a fun movie to watch. Right. And then with all the classic cars out in front, that's going to be a bunch of fun. So, Craig, uh, how did this all come together? Uh, the car club came to me. Yeah, and they, they said, they, they, they set this up, yeah. Very cool. He said, you're a really good doctor, <coughs> um, helpful person, and you'll do anything for us. It but sounds so cool, though, really. I think it's it sounds like a lot. great combination yeah. of classic cars yeah. and American graffiti. Uh, boy, take a little trip back in time to the, what, the 50s and have a good time. Yeah, and uh, like Andy was saying, you know, the greatest actor of all time, Harrison Ford. Mm -hmm. oh. This is where he got his debut, right? I believe. Uh, was he ever in a movie before American Graffiti? I don't know. I'm a, I don't know. I'm, a whole, I'm a hometown movie guy, but I don't know about that one. Can you even recognize him because he's so young? Oh, no. You can always recognize Harrison. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> film, film at 11. Yes. But uh, um, I'm not sure he has any dialogue, does he? I don't know. I think he's kind of... She's never actually listened to him before. She's just stared at I him. I just lot. look at him. Yeah. Yeah, he, no, but he, he was a, he he would, plays, remember, he was a carpenter in Hollywood before he became... Yes, yeah. Uh, He's building uh, framing houses. Yeah. Um, stop that. <laughs> no, I'm married to a construction guy. Are you kidding? We love those guys. Uh, but it, uh, Harrison Ford's character is a, he's a he's a mysterious and compelling uh, presence uh, as they drive up and down the streets of uh, Modesto or someplace like that. Mysterious uh, and compelling. Boy, you are on a roll today. Yeah. Uh, and. Uh, uh, I don't. I don't remember him ever actually speaking. Uh, he just. He just looks handsome and, and uh, cool. There you go. Yeah. Hey, well, one other thing that you got going on at the Sawmill Theaters, Craig, that I think is kind of interesting is your Saturday night special feature. And uh, tomorrow night, uh, this is going to be interesting. Saturday, July thirteenth, tomorrow night at ten p.m. You can get in for just five bucks and watch. The Rocky Horror Picture Show, that cult movie classic from back in 1975, a musical horror comedy film that became a cult classic. Um, now, I think it's going to be interesting to see who all shows up for this, because that time, uh, well, I remember for years and years and years, uh, the Rocky Horror Picture Show was playing down there on Mill Avenue in Tempe, and, and uh, there was people that just, I think they went there every week just to be sure. part of the strange movie party. Yeah, this was kind of the, the king of the midnight movies for, right. for a long time, and well, what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, well, we'll try the rest of the summer here anyway on, on Saturday nights, do a uh, 10 o'clock showing. I think that's a great idea, and again, just five bucks and you can get in and check out uh, the Rocky Horror Picture Show tomorrow night, that'll be fun. Also, a lot of great movies uh, uh, that are you know playing this week at the Sawmill Theater. Another thing we want to plug first before we go through those uh, is the Summer Kids Movies uh, are still taking place now. This coming Monday, the 15th, Kung Fu Panda 2 will be playing at 10.30 in the morning. And then on Thursday, the 18th at 10.30 in the morning, Fern Gully, The Last Rainforest. And uh, now the kids get in for five bucks. It includes a small drink and a small popcorn. What a great way for the kids to have something fun to do while they're yeah, out, yeah. out from school for the summer. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, Fern Gully, the last rainforest, I'm saddened to say that 
I don't believe I've ever heard of this. No, this was back up. Um, Boy, look, I'm astonished by the faces of the people in front of me. What? I need to get out more, sure. apparently. Well, it was, it was back from 1992 or 93. Oh, back in the old days. Uh, yeah, actually, I, yeah. I was working at the, uh, the Orpheum Theater in Flagstaff. Oh, at, wow. At, at that time, oh, yeah. Nice. yeah. Wow. And so it goes back a ways. Now, is the Orpheum Theater in Flagstaff, is that related to the Orpheum Theater in Phoenix? You know, I... I, don't I know there's I don't, yeah, yeah, theaters in yeah, all over the place. No, I don't think so. Well, that one in so. Phoenix. That, that, is, that is one of the most uh, interesting, uh, uh, like concert venues or whatever. The Orpheum Theater in Phoenix is just a, a classic theater. Well, that one in Flagstaff's really, uh, really neat too. Yeah, it, it, it burned it down. Yeah. Burned down in the 1920s, I think. Yeah, and then they mm -hmm. rebuilt it. I saw a great concert there. Well, there there's actually parts there you could a couple of panels you could take the off the wall, and there's still burnt timbers that you can see in oh, there. Oh wow! There's weird little there's a tunnel that goes, I don't know, it's, it's creepy Ooh. actually, it is, it's is kind it of, haunted? you know what, it, <laughs> maybe, yeah, <laughs> sometimes you'd close that place it's up, not, and it should be, right? well yeah, some nights it was fine, and, and other nights, it, the hair on the back of your neck would stand up, and just that creepy feeling, you know, that's something we ought to visit one of these times, our haunted movies, oh, we specifically shall. haunted, oh we shall, that would be yeah. interesting, oh, alright, yeah. well anyway, right now playing at the Sawmill Theaters this week, uh, starting yesterday, or no, starting today, yesterday, <laughs> and if that doesn't confuse you enough, a struggling musician wakes up and realizes he's the only person on earth who can remember the Beatles. That would be strange. Now, it's rated PG-13, plays at 115, 415, and 715. What do we know about this movie so far? I know it's been overachieving, actually. Really? It's, it's been doing really good. It's been uh, holding, I think, number three huh. in the country for, for a couple weeks. So it came out a couple weeks ago. Weeks ago? Yeah, yeah, it just we started were, today, right? Yeah. We were able to get it up here finally, yes. Wow, very cool. And uh, so a lot of great Beatles music, and uh, boy, they, they had a bunch of it. Also, uh, the movie Crawl. Well, let's let's not be in such a hurry Oh, here. did you have something you wanted to say about yesterday? Yeah, for heaven's yeah, sake. Say something. Uh, the, uh, probably the world's greatest living actress, uh, Lily James, <laughs> is, is uh, in yesterday as well. Okay. You are so uh, easily pleased, Andy. And I'm well, here. Okay, uh, apparently I still don't get out enough. I don't remember I've ever. Is there a movie that I would know that this person has been in? Uh, she had a uh, kind of a small, smallish role in um, uh, that one about the, the English house, the big house. Was it Gosford uh, Park? No, the the uh, series. Oh, Downton. Yeah, Abbey. that's right. Down I'm watching Downton. Down, oh my down, God. Downtown Abbey. Oh, stop that. <laughs> Downton Abbey. I've been watching that. Um, yes, and I stayed up way too late last night watching Downton Abbey. You know, I've never yeah. seen oh, a wow. single episode. Who, who she, did she play? She plays the uh, the the young daughter who falls in love with the jazz mu musician. She's like no, a, no, no. She's the, like the a shoulder? cousin. The, she, no, no, oh. no. She's like a cousin or something. Whoa. And, and uh, she's a, a wild child, falls in love with this uh, jazz musician, and it's in the nineteen twenties. That's a very, future future episode because yeah. I just uh, I just um, saw yeah she's her. in a she's in a half a dozen, but she also played okay um, I look for her. Uh, she also played Cinderella. <laughs> It's, I've never seen a hey, single hey, episode of Downton Abbey. Never we seen what you know about sleep. I've never seen a single episode of Sleeper. Game of Thrones either. Well, I haven't either. Uh, I mean, I no, but Downton really? Abbey. Oh no, Downton yeah. Abbey, I love. Yeah, well, Game of Thrones is like uh, Downton Abbey with uh, beheadings. <laughs> Uh, when it comes to British theme movies, I just say, uh, if it's not uh, Monty Python, I'm not interested. Well, the British are really into beheadings. You know, yeah. there was quite a bit of that going on. And then they eat potatoes. Yes. Way too much. And long. roast beef and, and pudding. Yeah, and fish and chips. Yes. Um, well, anyway, um, enough with all of that. So yesterday, uh, again, so plays at 115, 415, 715. Do we know, is this, is this a, a big dollar movie? It, no, it's a little dollar movie. Oh, However, yeah. it is solidly profitable. Uh, we have We have three old movies, uh, you know, continuing movies this week. All three of them are solidly in the profit zone. Wow. Uh, this one, uh, PG-13, by the way, so it's, uh, you know, it's okay for teenagers that are 13 or older. So. Right. Uh, but made with 26 million bucks, uh, so far uh, brought in 60 million. So, as you like to say, it, a good ROI. Okay, we love it, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, now another movie that's playing uh, today, it, this one is rated R, and it sounds pretty mysterious. It's called Crawl. During a Category 5 hurricane, a young woman is trapped in a <coughs> flooding house and must fight for her life 
against alligators. Mm. Uh, tastes like chicken. Uh, 1, 3, 10, 5, 20, and 7, 30 is when it shows again a place. Uh, uh, it's uh, rated R, rather. What do we know about this one, Craig? You, you know, well, this is Sam Raimi that, that is in on this one, and he's done, you know, the Evil Dead movies. Uh, so I expect this one is going to be a little... Uh, Dark? Uh, yeah. Yeah, maybe. Uh, you know, I have not seen it, so I'm, mm. I'm actually really curious to, to catch this one, but... Uh, I would expect a little bit of blood in this one. Uh, yeah, with the alligators, that yeah, probably sure, seems sure. kind of logical. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it just looks as interesting. A, just as an aside, there is a video on YouTube of, in Australia, where else, of a giant alligator being consumed by an even bigger snake. I, I posted it up on my Facebook page the other I, day. Maybe that's where it's. I it's, it's, I mean, it's, you know, it's amazing. It's, epic. it's a python, yeah. and, and they can get, you know, really huge. Oh. But, but I didn't realize they could disengage their jaws to oh, the yeah. extent that this thing could swallow an yeah, alligator. Like a, you know, two and, after, and it's a right? sequence of pictures, and at the end, when it's actually completely swallowed the alligator, yeah. that's the strangest shaped snake I've ever seen. I know. But it's was, so amazing. Yeah. I watched it several times. So take a look at that before you go watch the movie Crawl, and that should uh, <laughs> keep you uh, moving around in your seat. Uh, what do we know about this one as far as uh, money spent and all that kind of good stuff, Andy? Uh, this is, uh, if, if you like, quite this kind of stuff. If you like uh, movies about uh, al alligators uh, trapping you in the basement of your own house and chasing you around. Oh, sure. And who doesn't? <laughs> yeah. I mean, some, some people really I know dig people like that. Yeah. Pe some people really dig that. It's R rated, though, so mm -hmm. be careful about that. Uh, it's rated 100% fresh wow. by Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, so, you know, yeah. So it's, it's, you've got a couple of really good things. You know, reasons to go see it. Um, it's a, uh, a Sam Raimi uh, production, and people who, like me, are just in love with the Evil Dead series. Um, uh, I've never seen anything from that either. Sorry. Oh, what a <laughs> I, I, I am not. Still my heart. I, I am not at all surprised, but my goodness, it, my it, mommy doesn't let me out. <laughs> you're, you're really, you're really missing some stuff. There, there's a uh, uh, in Evil Dead Two. No. Uh, anyway, the second, the second in the series, um, there's a, um, a, a silent uh, scene that's just hysterical, absolutely hysterical. It goes on for like ten minutes, and there's no dialogue at all. It's just really, really funny. Sam Raimi is not just uh, blood and guts, but he's he's very, uh, very clever as well. They make you laugh while you're dying. Yeah. Uh, um, made on a tiny thirteen and a half million dollar budget, uh, there's no no famous names in the the acting, but I I have a flapjack that I'm willing to uh, contribute to anybody who can tell me where this movie about a hurricane and an alligator was filmed. No Orleans. Good guess. Good guess. But not, not even remotely oh, close. Okay. <laughs> Belgrade, Serbia. Oh, wow. Serbia! I'm a quarter Serbian. We love the Serbs. That must be their whole, their whole, um, you know, their whole thing is war and pestilence. That but, is so perfect. But they don't have any, uh, they don't have any alligators there. What? Or hurricanes oh, either. Oh, yeah, they do. All of their politicians. Are <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway. Uh, and when was the last time you saw a Serbian restaurant? Uh, never. Yeah. I wonder if they serve gator. Uh, you know, I, I was in New Orleans one time, and I got, uh, New Orleans is just a wonderful town. Uh, and not I got, this, not this week. Yeah. Uh, I got, <laughs> wonderful town below sea level yeah, in, yeah. in a hurricane zone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, uh, at a, uh, uh, a stand, a little stand on the street, I got a uh, gator on a stick. And, and like was, the, the, the full gator? Chewy chicken. No, no, just oh, uh, you know, yeah. on, a, on a skewer. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I, I, you never think about getting gator on a skewer. Skewer is great. It tastes like this, chicken? This, it's, it's a gator kebab. The Serbs eat meat. Yeah. Of course they do. Yeah, there ah, we yeah. go. Getting at the yeah. carnival. Yeah. Thing. Carnivore. More to come on that. We have to take a fast break, and when we come back, we're going to find out what else is playing at the Sawmill Theaters. Also, going to talk about your favorite buddy movies today. We'll have more on that coming up right after this. Okay, guys. I got to go. Hey. You just had too much fun? No. Hey, uh, I don't know if these car people, when they're showing up, and. Yeah. I, you know what? I, I don't know what's going on. Smokes! Ding, 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 ding. Breath. I don't know. You know, Sun Lake was down Monday night for like 15 hours. Sunday we lost an amp at the theater. Monday I lost a projector at the theater. 
and on the projector, two different things went out on it. A, a, an LP7 board and a Teak, but two different things went out. And then yesterday I had an amp go out. That was last night. So I don't know if we had some kind of weird power surge or something come through town, or maybe. Oh yeah, I know last night, and, and right about when that amp went out, the kids said all the lights flickered in the theater. Really? So I don't know if we get something weird going on, but no I don't know, it's the torture really me. Yeah, well, you can't see any light in there, anything, but... It's the, it's the haunted. Not only is the Orpheum Theater haunted, um, the Orpheum Theater is not That place, you know, in the Orpheum too, there's all that, uh... We need to smudge. There, there was a tunnel going to a restaurant. You know, from the early 1900s, the women had those long dresses, and it snows, so they had a tunnel to go to the restaurant, so they wouldn't get in there. It collapsed and it killed like eight people. Ah! Then it burned down, and then a projectionist hung himself from the balcony in the 1930s. So, yeah, that place really is killer. It's creepy. I think your your theater's getting haunted. We need to come somewhere. Ah, exactly. Okay, all right, we'll see. Have a good one. You know, I'm writing down themes. This weather? Oh, it's not time for the weather yet. Take a break. Um, anyway, uh, this morning on Rim Country Forum, talking That's, with your home. It has been yes. odd weather, though, hasn't it? Yeah. Um, <laughs> unusual. Um, at least we're getting a little bit of moisture in the air. Hopefully we'll actually get some precipitation. But anyway, aside from all of that. Uh, speaking I do of, digress. Yes, I definitely do on a regular basis. All right, the next movie we want to talk about playing at the Sawmill Theaters today, Stuber. Uh, it's a detective recruits his Uber driver into an unexpected night of adventure. Um, Stuber, huh? And it's rated R. It plays at 1.30, 4.30, and 7.30. What do we know about this one, Andy? Uh, the, the most important thing to know about this movie is that uh, Academy Award winner uh, uh, Mira Sorvino. Easy for you to say. Oh, yeah, Mira Sorvino. Uh, is, <coughs> is Daughter in, of Paul. Is in the movie. Uh, she's also appearing in Spider-Man as Spider-Man's aunt. Wow. Uh, so this happens every once in a while, but it's always fun when it does when we have, a, we have an actor that's in two of the movies that we have here. And wow. she's so in one of my favorite movies, Romy and Michelle's Excellent Adventure. Oh, that is yes. really I funny. I love that. That's love, just love. hysterical. She is just hysterical. Yeah. yeah. Never heard yeah. of yeah. it. Then that's a great funny <laughs> Oh, my gosh. <laughs> You not only don't get out much, you don't get out enough. At all. Yeah, really. They keep me locked in this little padded room a lot. Yeah, but she, she got the Academy Award for uh, uh, My Cousin Vinny. No, that was um, not Mira Sorvino. That was... Um, oh, you're right. I'm all mixed thank up. Thank you. I'm always right. Yep. Sorry. Okay. Yep. Erase everything. <laughs> She's not in Spider-Man. She's not in Spider-Man? No. Oh. Never mind. Never mind. However, Spider-Man Spider Far From Home is playing at the Sunbelt yeah. Theater. <laughs> but we do have uh, uh, Karen Gillan and Dave P B Batista in Stuber, both of whom had prominent roles in Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, yeah, I want to see how uh, uh, Dave Batista does. Dave Batista is a wrestler, uh, like The Rock mm -hmm. uh, and uh, some other uh, uh, wrestlers that have uh, tried to transition into the movies, and uh, he was absolutely brilliant in Guardians of the Galaxy as uh, uh, Dax the Destroyer. Dax. But here he plays a uh, he plays a, uh, a detective in L.A. Uh, and for some reason he doesn't have a squad car, so he kind of dragoons this uh, 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 Uber driver hmm. to take him around to on this on this case. Of course, it's very dangerous and everything, and uh, the uh, Uber driver is a, uh, a comedian. I mean, in real life, he's, right. a, he's a comedian. He's an actor, but he's, he's known for his comic roles. So right. uh, it, uh, it should be pretty funny. Interesting. And, um, and, and as you mentioned, Spider-Man Far From Home also playing. Uh, following the events of Avengers Endgame, Spider-Man must step up to take on new threats in a world that has changed forever. It's rated PG-13, plays at 1.15, 4.15, and 7.15, and all of those showings are available to be seen in 2D or 3D. How's this one been doing so far? It's spectacular. Really? Uh, yeah. Uh, 613 million at the box office worldwide. Wow. And that, that ain't chump change, folks. I guess. And uh, now, have you seen this one yet, uh, Tina? No, I did not. Yeah. Now, are, are you going to the theater today to watch I am. Movies? And what are you going to watch? We're going to see Yesterday. Yesterday. All my trouble seems so 
<laughs> kind of like the next commercial break. Um, <laughs> now, uh, uh, Spider-Man, I mean, this is, how many have they done with uh, live I've, action? Uh, I've, I've lost track. As uh, many as likes on the spider? Uh, close. Really? That's yeah, it. yeah, I think they're uh, counting, counting, uh, it's a racket count. counting the, uh, the animated one mm -hmm. that they did uh, a year or so ago. Uh, it might be up to eight, but oh. seven maybe. Seven. Uh, Amazing. Yeah. yeah, we've been. This is we're on our third Spider-Man. Now, and speaking of yeah, that's and that, that Spider-Man keeps uh, so, morphing in some unusual ways. Yeah, so two or two or three uh, movies per Spider-Man. So yeah, we're we're right up there with uh, uh, getting close to eight, if not to eight. But the uh, the animated one was really fun. Uh, they had all these cartoon Spider-Mans from uh, alternate universe. I think the next one should be Spider-Man meets the Black Widow. No, just a thought. Yeah, Black Widow died. Uh, oh, did yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, There is a movie named The Black Widow, though, and that was with Deborah Winger and Teresa, I forget her name. It was really good. Never saw it. Yes. <laughs> How about Toy Story 4? You know, speaking, of, speaking of movies, I loved that. Yeah, it, nothing, yeah. nothing bad in this one. No, this is it's G. G. Well, you know, so I have even you I, can go, Rin. And I've seen the first couple of Toy Story movies, yeah. and now they're up to four. Uh, but uh, you know, I and mean, we've mentioned before, uh, Pixar does a fantastic job in these things. But uh, also, uh, they do a fantastic job in writing it, so that you know, as you take the kids to watch this, you're you're thoroughly entertained yourself. I mean, there's a lot of good lines in this. When a new toy called Forky uh, joins Woody and the gang. A road trip alongside old and new friends reveals how big the world can be for a toy. It's rated G. You don't see too many of those these days. And it's, it uh, plays at 1, 4, and 7, all of those in 2D. Uh, toy Story 4, I, I'm afraid to ask, how many gazillions of dollars has this already generated? In, you know? uh, 667. And what did they pay to make it? 200. Wow, so they got good ROI there already. Yeah. And yeah. this has only been out for, what, two weeks? Uh, yeah, not very long. Two, yeah. two or three weeks. It's really sweet. Yeah. I really like it. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I just... He cried. I, yeah, I, I bawled uncontrollably. It's just, <laughs> just, you do that during commercials. <laughs> um, the, uh, what, what movie are you going to see today, Andy? Yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah, yeah. yeah I wanted to see Dave Bautista, but uh, 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 Lily James wins out, so I'm going to go see Yesterday. Yeah. All right. And now I'm going to have to stay up all night and watch Downton Abbey until I get to see Lily James. Yeah. yeah. No, I probably still won't watch an episode. <laughs> I have nothing against it. I just don't, don't get it right. Well, she did a great job as Cinderella. Really? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. All right, so that's what's playing at the Sawmill Theaters. And, of course, you can always find out what's playing and when it's playing by just going online to sawmilltheaters.com, or you can call them at 602-377-0719. Now, I wonder how Crawl is going to do. I, I, bet it, I bet it does really well. I bet, I bet people across the Fruited Plains flock to see people getting snapped up by uh, alligators during a hurricane. Well, I mean, look how big Jaws was. I mean, people I think they like to get the bejeebers scared out of them sometimes, yeah. or yeah. bitten out of them in this case. Yeah. Um, I think alligators have bigger jaws. Yeah, <laughs> they do. So, I don't know. It, it's going to be interesting to see. And how much did you say that they paid to make crawl? Thirteen and a half. Thirteen and a half million. You so can, that's really uh, low budget. You, yeah, you can make make a, a really uh, uh, convincing movie about a hurricane if you film it in Belgrade. <laughs> <laughs> Belgrade, really? <laughs> Go to Serbia for the alligators. Hey, those old boys that work for cheap, right? And there's no unions there. They just kill each other off when they don't agree. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, you're exactly right. It, uh, you see, a fair number of movies, uh, you know, especially low budget movies, are are made in, uh, uh, you know, Romania or yeah. you know, former chunks of the former uh, Yugoslavia, mm -hmm. and for exactly that re that reason, you know, there's right. no there's no. Uh, uh, Carpenters Union or uh, well, any of that stuff. Yeah. I'm having been, been blessed to spend uh, do a year long project in Romania and, <laughs> and actually get really into every little nook and cranny of that country. What an amazing place that would be to film a movie with the, the old castles in the mm -hmm. Transylvania area and stuff like that, and even old town uh, Bucharest. Uh, uh, man, I mean, there's there's a restaurant there that's been a restaurant for centuries, uh, yeah. and there's you know all, all these buildings from back in the. the they serve uh, meat. 
medieval time. What? They serve meat. Lots of lots oh, of meat. Yeah. Yeah. And the nice thing too is the uh, exchange rate was really good. Had a great yeah. uh, four or five course dinner there with appetizers and everything beforehand and drinks and then the main course and dinner. Then we had coffee and chocolates and everything else. Five and, dollars. Uh, Twenty bucks for me. Yeah. Wow. You know, and it was and it was you know the white linen over the the arm of the major deal. Oh, yeah. Little yeah. chamber ensemble off in the corner. It was yeah. very cool. I have videotape of it. I would nice. revisit it once in a while. Well, anyway, it's nice to live that kind of a lifestyle. Yeah, yes. well, that's one of the few trips that I've had to someplace <laughs> decent where there, you know, mm -hmm. fortunately weren't any dead people lying around, so mm -hmm. it was uh, kind of like vacation. Uh, but at any rate, uh, but once again, I digress. Now, when we come back, we got to talk about buddy movies. And so, when you're thinking about buddy movies, I guess one of the first ones that comes to my mind. Uh, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Absolutely. I mean, those were buddies, right? Yep. Um, and I was I thinking of the Buddy Holly story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that was good. It's it's a a Gary, Gary Busey, right? Yeah. Singular buddy. Yeah. Singular um, buddy. But uh, and uh, Michelle back in the office here, uh, she already said that uh, Thelma and Louise. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So there's yeah. a couple of buddy movie ideas yeah, for you. What do you think? Bunch of them. You got an idea? Give us a call four seven four two four two seven. We'll be back with more <coughs> right after this. And whose uh, debut was in Thelma and Louise? Whose debut was in Thelma and Louise? It wasn't Susan's trailer. She's in the... Yo. Rocky Horror. Oh, Brad. Yeah. Brad. Brad the Pex. Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> that was his, his debut? Yeah. yeah. Really? In Thelma and Louise? Yeah, he played the boy toy. I thought, I thought he went back to the really casual bad. lover. The what casual what year was Thumb and Louise? I, don't know. I, mean, I didn't think it was. Yeah, yeah. No, it was back then. Yeah. He it was, was young and early, blonde. Early 90s. And, see, they're calling them a I'll be with you in just a moment. Storms headed our way. We'll take a look at your seven-day forecast. And we want to talk about. You said that was such a straight face. <laughs> we want to. We want to. Be with you eventually. <laughs> well, uh, 1991. Oh yeah. 91. I wouldn't take it until back that far. Yeah. I couldn't what? get all the way through. Oh, well, it's, uh, it's hard. Well, the end is really killer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we want to talk about the good, bad, and the ugly as well as a sort of twisted buddy. Okay. Well, we'll take uh, this call and find out where that takes us, um, and then we'll... And then my cousin Vinny is a buddy with me. Oh, not such a critic. My cousin Vinny, Joe Pesci, and Marissa Torme, they are so buddies. Yeah, I got Mar Marissa Torme and, and, uh, and Sorvino uh, yeah. mixed up. But Sorvino did get uh, Academy Award for um, uh, the Woody Allen movie. Oh, indeed. Yeah. Any time that is the mighty Venus. Yeah. Yeah. She, was, she was good. Even my mother in law liked my cousin Vinny. Oh, me too. I, I love it. My mother in law doesn't like anything. <laughs> and nothing likes her either. <laughs> her invention her was a New York accent. Yeah. Welcome back to Rim Country Forum on Friday, talking with your hometown movie guys, uh, Tina. And Andy with us, Craig had to run back to the theater because uh, they got that uh, big classic uh, car show going on there and the uh, also playing American Graffiti today at 10 o'clock and again you can get in there for just seven dollars and it includes popcorn and a drink. So uh, go on down, check out American Graffiti, check out the great uh, collector car appreciation day celebration taking place out in the parking lot down at the Sawmill Theater, Main and Beeline and Mason. Fun games. Hey, we uh, were asking the question this morning, your favorite buddy movie, and of course when you talk buddies, this can go a lot of different directions as you will soon see. But uh, right now, let's go to the phones and find out what you're thinking. Hi, you're on Rim Country Forum. Good morning. Sure. Yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. On yes. the list, absolutely. Good choice. That is a good one. Yeah. yeah. And I, I like a good you know, movie where you can, as you say, laugh your tail off. Right. Um, I, I've been to a few of those, still have plenty of tail to laugh off, but I, I, I would, uh, I, I enjoy, I like those kind of movies, either a good yeah. action flick or a good comedy. When it comes to death and destruction, I've seen too much, it kind of freaks me out, so I stay away from those typically. But good idea. I, I like that one. Yes. And uh, now, one of the things that you were mentioning, Tina, was that this whole buddy genre idea can actually go in some strange directions. Maybe buddies out of temporary convenience? Sure, absolutely. I mean, I'm going right, to, you know, the, uh, well, the, the upcoming 
you know, my just on my top ten, uh, I did my senior thesis in film school on it. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Yes, with Clint Eastwood and Eli Wallach and Lee Van Cleef, mm -hmm. um, they, they they periodically join forces with you know it's a, it's a it's a trio where the other two join forces against the one and then they shift and then of course at the end there's that glorious gunfight uh, three quarter gunfight but you, you know, know that Eli look of Wallach, zeal on your face when you say glorious uh, gunfights kind of kind of creepy me it out it is it was it was filmed <laughs> in Spain really the whole thing was filmed in Spain I would have guessed Serbia <laughs> well, maybe today. They needed the sun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but they but probably spent like 11 bucks to make the movie. Oh, man. <laughs> what a movie. I mean, Sergio Leone, and it's, it's long, okay, and it, it's good. Payson, Payson. Mm -hmm. Mark your calendars. It's coming to Payson on August 3rd at the Sawmill Theater. The good, and, the yes. bad, and the ugly. Yes, and music by Sergio, uh, by uh, Ennio Morricone. Easy for and, you to say. Yes, and, you know, and just, just a, a, a classic of the classics, who are really good. But Eli Wallach plays Tuco, who is a mean bandito. And it's so funny because he's, you know, a Jewish guy playing a Mexican bandito. In and an Italian movie. In an Italian movie, right, yeah. All right, that, right. that just completely yeah. screwed me up right there. It's uh, so <laughs> yeah. Filmed yeah. in Spain. Yeah, it's filmed in Spain, but honestly, uh, he and, and uh, Clint, you know, do get together in some of the, the times, and then, of course, there's betrayal. And uh, one of his great lines is, you know, if you're going to shoot, shoot, don't talk. There you go. Got to yeah. love it. Yeah. Hey, another caller on the line, 25 and in front of 10 o'clock. Hi, you're on Room Country 4. Good morning. Yay. Hey, how you doing? Good. Good. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. That Satama and Louise was a real cliffhanger. Yeah. Oh, nine to five. Oh, there yes. you go, with Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton, Jane Fonda, and Lily Tomlin. Yeah. Yep, yep. Oh yes. Yeah. Yes. Yep. It was great. Oh yes. Oh, My the goodness. Sandlot. The That's Sandlot. a good choice. Yeah. Yes. Now, who is in that again? I'm having brain fade. The um, whole. No, I don't know who's in the sandlot. I know. <laughs> yeah, thank okay, you. Thanks. Um, yeah. I, I, I got to go on a Colorado raft trip uh, in the Colorado River one time, and uh, right at the beginning of the, chip, the trip, right outside of uh, Moab, Utah, is the cliff where they uh, sent the Cadillac over the over the cliff. Uh, oh. Uh, yeah, that, that, that was that was fun to see that. No. Yeah. High impact, yeah. yeah. And uh, uh, that was uh, the film debut of uh, Brad Pitt. Yes. And we were talking about that during the last break, and I didn't realize that. Now that we go back to, uh, Thelma and Louise goes back to 1991. Yes, it the does. Release date on that. Yep. And I didn't realize that Brad Pitt had not been in anything prior to that. No, and I mean, he was sort of burst upon the scene, you know, he, he and his pecs. Um, he was the he was the boy he, he was the boy toy uh, right. you know of the of of the chicks. What was so. the movie that he real quick before we go back to the phones? The movie that he was in, where he starts out old and gets younger. Um, oh, um, the incre oh. incredible, the amazing. It's not the Incredible Shrinking Man, but it's uh, like that. It's, yeah, um, the Incredible um, Mister Somebody. Yeah, no, yeah. it's it's. Well, uh, we'll figure that out. Ninja yes, Ninja that was a something? very unusual theme. To yes, me. and it was a story by. I think Oscar Wilde. Huh. Yeah, you know, but Oscar Wilde wrote some stories that really have been made into great movies. Makes sense. Yeah. Hey, another caller on the line, quick before we lose him. Hi, you're on Room Country Forum. Good morning. Hi there. Oh, indeed. Oh, yeah, that's indeed. Right. Very, very good. They were doing a lot of monkeying yes. around in that movie. Yeah. And yeah. that, any which way but loose, and that goes back. That was early '80s. Something like that. I mean, that uh, yeah. Clint Eastwood was uh, a much younger guy uh, yes. back in in those days. Yes. Weren't we all? Yes. We um, were. Anyway, uh, <laughs> don't remember. <laughs> yeah, I barely vaguely remember the yeah. '80s. Hey, good choice. I think that. Yes. And, 
And uh, boy, you know, there's you can go so many different directions when it comes to buddy movies. What comes to your mind? Turn on Hooch. Yes. Turn on Hooch. Turn on Hooch. That Hooch. was a good one. I agree. That's one of the best slobber movies around. <laughs> yeah, really? yeah. And then Beverly Hills Cop. Uh, you know, seriously, yeah. with uh, you know, with uh, uh, Eddie Murphy. Yeah. I, I, thought, I, I thought Eddie wonderful. Murphy was just. <coughs> and I have to think that yeah. some of the some of the best bits were uh, ad, ad lived. Yeah. 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 And, and he, I mean, oh. pretty high energy guy, but I. He I, was I agree. That was one of the funnier movies. And, and, and of course, it, it has oh. it has nothing to do with uh, buddies. But uh, just while we're talking about Eddie Murphy, I mean, nothing's uh, uh, in my opinion that he's done is better than uh, the Nutty Professor, uh, the remake of that. I mean, the the scene sitting around the dinner table where he's playing the parts of all, all of the them. different people around yeah. that that just it boggles my wee little mind. However, there is. Um, uh, the one that he plays two parts in, uh, with uh, that Steve Martin wrote. Um, Wait, he played himself and his sister. No, no, he plays uh, Kick, uh, Kit Kincaid, who is the Hollywood uh, uh, star, who uh, is absolutely at the effect of Terrence Stamp, who who heads up a Scientology esque. Uh, or um, um, oh man, I'll think of it. Well, uh, yeah, I but, but I mean, that. he plays two parts. He plays Kit Kincaid, and then he plays Kit Kincaid's half brother, who is uh, low low IQ. And Steve Martin plays a producer who's going to make a Hollywood movie starring Kit Kincaid, but without Kit Kincaid knowing it. Uh-huh. Yes. Um, okay. Yeah, I'll look it up. We'll find up. more on that. Yeah. In the meantime, but it's a great. He, the, it's a buddy movie because he, you know, he's his, his own buddy. He's, Sometimes you got to be your own best friend. I punt it. Hey, there you go. Back to the phones. Hi, you're on Rim Country Forum. Good morning. Ah, uh, The Incredible Benjamin Button. That's yes, great. thank you. Thank you. We were going yes. nuts trying to figure that one out. Yes. That was, I mean, that's just a, a strange concept for a movie, but I have to say they, they did a fairly believable job of pulling that off, as strange as the idea of someone starting out old and getting younger. Uh, that, it brings up so many other unusual questions that we shouldn't go into right now. But um, it, all interesting, nonetheless. Amazing what Hollywood can do. Here's another call. Hi, you're on Rim Country Forum. Good morning. Yes. Oh, Mr. Garcia, that's, that's a good one. Yes. Uh, yep. Smokey and the Bandit. Absolutely. Good. Yeah, good choices. Thanks yes. for calling in. Smokey and the Bandit. That goes back to the. Now, sometime in the 70s. Yeah, now that one, that one really turned out to be kind of a, uh, uh, a part of American culture. Yeah. Uh, the whole stuff about the, uh, the uh, CB radios. Looks sure. like we got us a convoy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And the movie I was trying to think of was Bowfinger. Oh, that's oh, right. Yeah. Bowfinger, yeah. With, uh, written by Steve Martin. So, I mean, that's also on one of my top ten. Of course, I have 50 on my top ten. But, and yeah. Steve Martin, I haven't seen a whole lot of his uh, comedic yeah. work uh, of late, but uh, oh. he's certainly still staying busy picking his banjo. He was just amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting stuff. Yeah. Well, again, uh, looking for your opinion of a uh, favorite buddy movie. So, okay, four of the greatest buddies that ever lived were the Marx Brothers. But, you know, Zeppo was just not funny. But he was in some of the early movies. But if you think of the three, you think of, you know, of Groucho, Harpo, and Chico. The buddy, the, the, I mean, the, the bad boy buddies of the 30s and the 40s, just hysterical. Right. Yeah. Interesting. Well, Tombstone. <coughs> Tombstone. Tombstone. Oh, Tombstone. Some buddies. Definitely. Our brothers. Yes. Or, yeah, all that good yeah. stuff. And uh, I've always, I, I, I will, watch, uh, uh, rewatch Tombstone just about every time I run across it on TV. I enjoy that. Yeah. I'm your Huckleberry. Yes. Hey, uh, uh, Michelle from the back office here just came in, also put in a vote for Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Um, who are those guys? Yeah. Um, yes. We, we re recently had the opportunity to see that uh, uh, on the classic movie days. Right. Uh, and those of you that have not uh, had an opportunity <coughs> to go to the, uh, the month once a month, uh, classic movie day. First Saturday of the month. First Saturday of the you month. You have uh, to do it. I mean, it's really fun. Yeah. It's really fun. I've, I've seen uh, movies on the classic movie uh, Saturday that I've never seen on the big screen. 
and boy, it makes a difference. It yeah. does. And get there early because yeah. if you come there late, like I did the last time I showed up for the classic movie Saturday, I was in the front row, and then you know, of course, my chiropractor liked it a lot. But forget about it. Yeah, forget about it. Yeah. Also, um, real, real quick before we go back to the phones here, uh, Michelle also said E.T. <gasps> that's a good yes, buddy movie. That's yeah. a good buddy Fun movie. Home. Yes. Um, and uh, another one that I, I just cracked up as soon as I saw it. Uh, it's a great one. The Blues Brothers. Oh, oh yes, <laughs> absolutely. But, yeah, part one and part two. Uh, the dude. Yeah. <laughs> really. We're and on a mission from God. <laughs> yeah, yeah right. and Lethal Weapon. Don, so, lethal you know, Weapon. Yes, yeah. all of them. I mean, it doesn't hold up, but the the scene in the Christmas tree lot with Mel Gibson, that is my favorite. That's the penultimate. Right. Uh, he's where he is so correct. He just goes bonkers. Star Wars. And uh, if you have Star a, an opinion about a, uh, uh, a your favorite buddy movie, give us a call, 474-2427, just like these folks did. Hi, uh, you're on Room Country Forum. Good morning. Ah, oh. that hurt. Hmm. Just about okay, got my another one. Right okay. Be on the professional with Jean Reno and the lovely, <laughs> the lovely Natalie Portman, who is shut up. <laughs> we had a conversation yesterday <laughs> where I castigated him for his French accent. If it's uh, if it's any consolation, I've never heard of it. Oh man, oh, no. this is such a good movie. What's it called again? Leon. Oh, it was originally called The Professional, and then they named it Leon the Professional because. I guess you know the professionals and there's kind of mixed up with some yeah, but, some professionals um, out there. But it is there. Jean Reno is a Frenchman who plays a hitman who uh, saves Natalie Portman, who is very young. Yeah, she's like 12. Oh man, she she was real, her, it was her life. first movie. Oh wow! And Gary Oldman is the baddest, baddest D DEA guy. I every time I get a chance to see this, I watch this movie. It's huh. really good. Yeah, yeah. Check, it's check funny out. and poignant. And very, um, I mean, the buddy, the buddy thing that is created between this this older hitman and this little girl is so good. Yeah, and I, I was laughing because it, uh, it doesn't matter what the genre is, she manages to uh, <coughs> to slide this one in, <laughs> and, and it's always it's always sure, valid. I know. Yeah, it's always valid. Yes. And and he is he is really great. Oh, he's uh, wonderful. Uh, yeah. Another one of his uh, great ones. I'm not sure if it's a buddy movie or not, but uh, Ronan. Oh, excellent really, movie. really terrific. Yeah, excellent movie. I, I guess that kind of because you could, yeah, yeah, him and and, uh, and Robert. Uh, yeah, Robert De Niro. Yeah, they're, so, yeah, they're buddies because at the end they're, yeah. you know, they're still friends, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Somebody. Roman. Somebody. Just, somebody just, <laughs> Roman. Why not? <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see here. Okay. Uh, Shanghai Noon. Shanghai Noon. Yeah. Somebody just texted me and said the Little Rascals. Oh, absolutely. I had forgotten about that they yes. remade, you know, that growing up, uh, you yeah. know, back in the 60s, we saw the uh, the reruns of what the original Little Rascals was mm -hmm. done in the, what, the 30s or 40s? Something. Yeah. And uh, and those were still wildly entertaining, you know, for me as a uh -huh. kid, and I, I'd still watch them today. Yeah. I, I, I think we need to get back to more of that kind of, of humor and Tom those and kinds Jerry. of stories. I, I was just, the other day, I was watching, uh, real quick before we go back to the phones again, I was watching... Uh, um, gosh, what was it? Uh, Gunsmoke or something? But oh, I, you know, just on one yeah. of these, uh, you know, uh, satellite channels where they got all the old uh, right. TV shows from yesteryear. And I still found it very entertaining, and it was it was well written, and and uh, there was no sex, drugs, or rock and roll. I right. mean, it was all, uh, but it was you know just all, shoot. Yeah. Just well, yeah. But that's that's. That's Straighten right. Straighten up and fly right, or we'll shoot. That's right. That's the way it should be. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, 13 minutes now in front of 10 o'clock. Took me a minute there to read the clock. Uh, back to the phones. Hi, you're on Room Country Forum. Good morning. Yeah, Thelma and Louise, yes. The Banyard Sisters, very good. Very good. I, yes. I'm going to shock everyone when I say, I never heard of them. <laughs> now, well, how, how old is that movie, would you guess, Caller? Oh yeah. Oh, Goldie Hawn. It's, yeah. it's this this century. I I know I remember that much. <laughs> well, Goldie Hawn. I mean, you know, she well, like me. rose yeah. to fame in uh, Rona Martin's Laugh In back in the '60s, and right. then was still doing movies into the '70s and '80s. So uh, I don't know if she's still busy right. at. It. Um, and matter of fact, one of the other things we got to plug here real quick. The, before we the Bangers. This is a very interesting uh, really? movie culturally. Two thousand two. Yeah. yeah. Banger Sisters. It's about yeah. it's about uh, two best buddies because we're talking about buddy mm -hmm. buddy pictures. That are now, uh, you know, considerably past their uh, expiration date. But uh, when they were when they were young, 
uh, when they were young hotties, they uh, uh, followed bands around. Right. Ah. Thus the name. So many one-liners, so little time. Yes. Um, <laughs> rest, rest, stay clear away from that. Yeah, just, Th well, thank you, caller, for that thank you suggestion. For your double entendre. Yeah. yeah, for that suggestion, and also for uh, helping us uh, lead the host down the, uh, the, 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 the rabbit hole. Step away from the joke. <laughs> hey, uh, by the way, if you would ever like to see what actually goes on behind the scenes here, uh, you can go on YouTube and look for the Don Klein channel, C L I N E, the Don Klein channel. And uh, you'll see every uh, Friday's uh, uh, Hometown Movie Guys uh, segment here. We have Don Klein in the studio with us, and, and he's uh, videotaping this, and we'll post it up to uh, uh, YouTube here in a little while. So, again, a chance for you to see what goes on behind the scenes here. Sometimes that can be kind of scary. But Don just handed me a note, uh, one of his favorite uh, buddy pictures, the Bowery Boys. Oh, excellent choice. Yeah, interesting, interesting. Yeah. So, and, and we're asking you, what do you think? What's and your... what about Red Dawn? Done. The original. I mean, the original. The, the, the Wolverines. The, you couldn't be more buddies with, you know, Patrick Swayze and, yeah, Donna's giving me a thumbs up. Yeah, Red Dawn. That's one of my favorite movies. I watch that all the time. See, another one of the 50 on my top 10. Very interesting. You're looking so perplexed. I, I do not know why. another movie I've not seen. Dang, Sorry. Man. I need to get out more. But, you know, how can you even be our interviewer? Yeah, because I'm full of dumb questions. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll get to more of those. You're right a good foil to us. <laughs> 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 right here. Yeah, yeah, terrible. Terrible. You've never you seen Red Dawn? Red Dawn? Seriously? Patrick Swayze? Red, Red Dawn? Red Dawn. It's about but the they, you know, yeah the Cubans invade the Cubans New Mexico and the Russians invade uh, uh, America. Actually, it's, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. they're pretending oh, yeah. it's <laughs> actually <laughs> Aurora, <laughs> which is in what, Colorado, what, what is but it? they're pretending it's up uh, north okay, somewhere. What was Wisconsin? <laughs> what? Then the Rockies, Colorado Rockies. Yeah, and John Milius was the director, and he knew stuff. Huh. He had a, a line in there where the, the Cuban guy says, "Go around to all the gun stores and pick up the form." 4473. 4473. You know, all the federal registration. And it's right in the movie. Oh, and the liberals went wacko over that. Ah, kind of love it. More wacko they go. By the way, I hope you didn't mind my post on your Facebook page yesterday. The little animated thing of Trump. Yeah, I couldn't get him to jump. Really? Oh, oh, you, oh, yeah. Yeah, if you, if you can't get him to play, then it's not nearly as much fun. It's just Trump having a good time. Not tired of winning. <laughs> Now, the second Red Dawn was panned oh. pretty well. It was terrible, and they were going to do about the Chinese, and they, they backed down because the Chinese government went all over them like a cheap suit, and they, they, they came. They made it North Korea. Wow. Well, it, I didn't think it was all that bad. The, the explosions, no, I tried to watch it, and the I detonations said, were yeah. much more realistic. Well, yeah. yeah. Korea, and that's such a people eat dog world. But there were there were scenes in it. There were scenes in it that were ridiculous. Yeah. Like standing up there in a field. Hey guys, if you can hear me, and they're about twenty feet away behind a behind a uh, burn berm of some kind. Right. And then we've got a great list. Point break. Point break with Keanu Reeves and Arizona Fraud Squad presents. Jam the scam. Fight fraud. Yeah. Fight break. I'm Arizona Attorney General Mark Burns. Fraud is everywhere. Prepare fraud. I believe we're 15 seconds sales fraud. And because it is everywhere, I have read Dawn on video if you or DVD if you want to see it. Yeah. That'd be interesting. You really should see it. Uh, Patrick Swayze and Cam Reeves. And see how old. What's his face? Seven minutes in front of 10 o'clock, 84 degrees, looking for a high today of 96, and it looks like our chance for monsoon showers is going to continue. Complete look at your seven-day forecast coming up in about 10 minutes. Meanwhile, this morning, as we do on Fridays, talking with your hometown movie guys, Andy and Tina in the studio with us, and, and uh, asking the question this morning, your favorite buddy movie. We have another caller on the line. Hi, you're on Rim Country Forum. Good morning. Hello. Well, they were there, and then they left. Apparently okay, that commercial about, break was a little long. How about uh, Real Bravo or El Dorado? Take your pick. It's the same movie. Oh, there you go. <laughs> well done. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you know, Michelle from yeah. the back office once again has visited yeah, us in good. the studio. And she's come up with some great ones. The Sting. Oh. Oh, yeah. The, oh. How about this? The Odd Couple. Oh, mm. Walter yes. Matthau and Jack Lemmon. Sherlock Holmes. Yes, yes. Good one. With Dr. Fultz. Watson, yes. Yeah. Uh, Midnight Cowboy. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a tough one. And uh, Shawshank Redemption. Excellent Ooh, choice. Some, Excellent. Some choice. very interesting choices. Yes, well done, Michelle. Yes. And so, asking you, what, what's your favorite buddy movie? And that, obviously, that can go a lot of different directions, uh, as buddies can do. Um, so, what's your opinion? Four seven four two four two seven. Our number. Hi, you're on Rim Country Forum. Good morning. <laughs> Hello. Last chance. All right. So your buddy. somebody's having fun there. Yeah. Anyway, phone lines open again at four seven four two four two seven. Ah, you know. The Odd Couple. Um, oh, you know, the movie was great. I remember the old TV yeah. series. Uh, but Walter I, Matthau. Yeah. I, I, I had, uh, my father used to say he had a face like an unmade bed. <laughs> I yeah, love, uh, you know, just beautiful. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Face like an unmade bed. <laughs> oh, so many one-liners. Back to the phones. Hi, you're on Rim Country Forum. Good morning. Excellent oh, There you go. Choice. There you go. Yes. I like that. Um, Roadhouse. Now, Roadhouse, yeah. I'm trying to remember who was in Roadhouse. Uh, Patrick, Patrick Swayze, Swayze, if I'm not mistaken. The other guy. Uh, the other <laughs> yeah. guy, yeah. Um, and Patrick Swayze was also in Point Break. Right. The with, boy, it's kind of Patrick Swayze day, isn't it? Yeah, Keanu Reeves. I love Patrick Swayze. And Patrick Swayze was right. also in uh, Ghost. Yes, yes. Kind of a strange buddy movie. Yes. More than buddies, maybe. Yes. Roadhouse. Speaking, of course. I'm looking it up. You know, um, Patrick Swayze, Kelly Lynch, Sam Elliott. Sam Elliott. Oh, yes, yeah, Sam yeah. Elliott. Yeah. So Sam Great. Elliott was the other guy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got it. All right, we got that figured out. Hey, thanks Thank for calling. Thank you. Good choice. Yeah. Um, and Shawshank Redemption too. That oh, was that was an interesting man. choice. Oh, Morgan Freeman. Yeah. Um, yeah. The. Uh, Phone lines are ringing again. Let's go back to the phones. 474-2427. Our number to call. Hi, you're on Rim Country Forum. Good morning. Yeah, what yes. about me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. Leaves me out. <laughs> oh, man, that was a good one. That was a really good one. And what was, oh, just like that. The name escapes me. The one where the, there's a group of uh, older guys that all go uh, to take a swim in the swimming pool that's kind of the fountain of youth. Uh, oh, Cocoon. Cocoon, yeah. Yes. That was a, oh, that was delightful. Yeah. Ron Howard directed yeah. that. Yeah. And, and I mean, has there been any Ron Howard movies that weren't great? I don't know. I don't think so. I'm trying to think some, of one. Some of them are more successful than others, but uh, uh, none of them no, have, he's been, very good. have been uh, unworthy of, of your attention. And, and I'd say his movies also are ones that, um, I mean, they, they don't uh, depend on, on kind of mind-numbing no, humor they're, they're or They're good, good, good stories. Uh, and boy, oh boy, Cocoon was really a terrific, terrific movie. Yeah. I forgot all yeah. that. Then, uh, and the, the older I get, the more I like it. <laughs> yeah. 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 Gotta go too. find that pool oh, soon. Hey, another caller on the line. Hi, you're on Rim Country Forum. Thanks for calling. Hi there. Okay. Yes. Ooh. Yes. Wow. Yes. Dean Martin and Jerry I Lewis. I love that movie. Though, and they, they did, I don't know how many movies the two of them did together, yeah. but uh, there was a bunch. And I know uh, growing up, I always thought those were great movies. Yes. I haven't yeah. seen one in a while. And then, you know, segueing into Bing Crosby and Bob Hope. Oh, there you go. There's buddy movies. Or how about yeah. The Rat Pack? I mean, oh, you know, there's so many different directions you can go with yes, that. Yes, you know? with Frank and his, and his buddies. Yeah. We were yeah. just talking this morning about. But that's uh, great. How, Thank you for that. And did you hear Paul that we were talking earlier this morning about Frank Sinatra giving Marilyn Monroe a little puppy, a little uh, poodle? No. Yeah, gave her, gave her a little poodle for a gift at one point. The little poodle's name was Mafia. Isn't that sweet? Oy vey. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but wait, there's more. Hey, Enjoy another caller on the line. Hi, you're on Rim Country Forum. Good morning. Oh, there you go. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I need to take a shower after that. Yeah. Oh, that, was, wow. that was a movie that was ahead of its time, wasn't Yes, it? it should stay behind its time. <laughs> oh, icky poo. So, I'm yeah. afraid to ask, but I will anyway. Caller, what was your favorite part of the movie? Oh, don't. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it's See, better that way. Yeah, you're very discreet. Thank yeah, you for nice, that. Nice yeah. dodge. Nice Good dodge. dodge. Yeah, okay. really. I thought we were going to get into something racy there. For a <laughs> anyway, thanks for the phone call. Though. We do appreciate that. Bob Terrell, Ted, not tell me. Did a Ted announce? That was 80s? Uh, yeah, probably. Know, yeah, the, like maybe that. 70s. Maybe late 70s. Yeah. It was yeah. a stupid movie. Uh, yeah. uh, but the the caller that called in about the uh, uh, Bob Hope, Big Crosby road movies. Mm -hmm. uh, that was me. Uh, that was. <laughs> Uh, those those are some fun movies. Yeah, they were. They it was were just fun. you know kind of kind of goofy and fun. Yeah. What was the movie where? Uh, oh golly, what's his face? Uh, uh, oh, Booger's names are a uh, problem sometimes this time of the morning. The uh, oh the guy that he shipwrecked. He's on an island by himself. Goes Tom the, Hanks. Tom Hanks. Hanks. Yeah, goes the first like forty five minutes of the movie without ever you know what? saying words. But him yeah. and, Wilson, and Wilson, the volleyball, the volleyball. they're buddies. Yep. They're well, buddies. they sure are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And you know, 2000 uh, 2001: A Space Odyssey, the the astronauts were buddies, and Hal oh, broke it up. There you go. Remember? Yeah. yeah, those computers, they don't like coming oh, in the second best. Oh, that was such a movie. Well, hey, tell you what, uh, always appreciate having the movie guys here. Don't forget that you can go online to sawmilltheaters.com, find out what's playing and when it's playing. A lot of great stuff. Don't forget the uh, the big classic car show uh, that's going on down there this morning. Starting right at 10, now. Yeah, right starting now, right now, as we speak. And uh, the, uh, the movie showing, American Graffiti. Check it out down there for seven bucks. You can get in and... And get yourself a popcorn and a drink and uh, That's enjoy. That's a funny movie. Yeah, 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 good stuff. Hey, thank you for tuning in and listening this morning to Rim Country Forum. It's been brought to you by Banner Payson Medical Center, George Henry Plumbing, Heating and Cooling, At Your Service, Cleaning and True Service, Anytime Fitness, Hospitality Wireless, and ITD Group Computer Services.